All right, everybody. So we're back at it again with another live stream here for Streamlabs, and of course, season ten of Hot Wheels Hilarity. So, for the record, I was in fact able to come up with some pretty nice ideas, at least just to fill in the time here. In this case, though, what we got here is another new set in box. Well, here we have the Laser Stunt Slamway. Essentially, it's a double loop pattern, which we have seen many times over. In fact, I wouldn't even be surprised if this was just more than just a clone. Recolorization now can only get you so far. And the fact that it uses this type of launcher, which we've also seen many times over. It was used mostly for Track Builder and Track Builder Unlimited. But now we have the Neon Speeder series by Mattel. And of course, we're seeing some recycling here and there. So, not quite surprised on that whole part. Just feels like it was a bit lazy in a way. Just recoloring the whole thing instead of making it a whole original project. I mean, they were able to execute a number of things with the Track Builder series. But yeah, it turns out with this, it's a different type of story. But I'm not exactly going to hold any particular grunge on it for this particular reason. Because, how could I? I'm not exactly here to judge based on the quality of the product itself. Or what it needs to contain. But what I am here for, specifically, is to, in fact, showcase these different sets in all their glory and with a lot of pride in mind. So, let's just see if we can get this thing unboxed. The showcase, so this way, this episode of HWH can have itself another chapter. And so I can pretty much hop back to work elsewhere. So, okay. That's out of the way, and well, what we can do now is just have the instruction manual by our side as we go in and assemble this whole entire thing, which should be as simple as putting a few pieces together as if this were a track builder set, but this is the neon speeder set, and I would almost get the feeling that in the same way that we had the, uh, the action series, as well as a number of other things going on. I wouldn't exactly put this over in the fence. Okay. Ah, sorry about that. I guess operating on top of a jacuzzi can pretty much have its flaws in a way. I don't know why the jets have to turn on like that automatically, but oh well, you know. Let's just see what we can do here by getting this thing to um, well, come together. I can hopefully get a good setup put together. All right, so. All right, that pretty much is there to hold these loops together because I can't really imagine these being able to hold themselves is probably one well major issue down the line so okay looks like we have it here everybody okay I guess I got it. it's made and then 
there we go. So, I'm not really going to use the high tech missile that this comes with, so just put that off to the side. And what I got here instead is just an assortment of models, pretty much. So, this will pretty much just be a simple setup. As per usual, I will basically have a layout all pieced together. And the main goal is to just simply make it from point A to point B. Which I'm hoping is as simple as going through these two loops and then into the flag at the end. So let's just see what we can accomplish here. Now, I'm going to get this thing set up, so this way we can pretty much have a nice, um, well, I'll just make it a little more presentable here, and just like that, we're ready to rumble. So what we're going to do is go from left to right, which of course would mean bottom to top based on this exact perspective. So. First model that we're going to do is Night Shifter. Well, that wasn't exactly pitch perfect, but I guess we need a little more power. I guess I got to hold it down. Yeah. Okay. So, they'll all go into the bucket based on who wins and who loses, basically. Up next, we have Mad Splash. Well, that was a success. Now, for the third model, we have Dior 3. I almost get the feeling that maybe there ought to be a Dior 4. Well, I guess double loops wouldn't work. Yep. I figured so. Oh. I guess maybe it can be done. In some ways. Fourth model is Geronimo. A little soft. Yeah, good catch. And more importantly, good win. Next up is T-Rex Destroyer. All right. Next is Dodge Viper SRT-10 ACR. Drags a bit in the loops, but... Now, well, it drags quite a bit there, so... That's pretty much we'll, where the losses will go, pretty much. So, alright. Hammerhead is going to be up next. Just one shots the whole competition. Next is Montezuma. Or in this case we have ourselves the Monta Racer. Once again, does pretty well here. Muscle Speeder. They don't call it a track stars model for nothing. Vector Avtech WX3. Yeah. In a nice lavender color. Whew. Okay, that went upside down, which was totally unexpected, but 
Well, second time's pretty much a charm. Now I got Formulator. Now that was pretty awesome. Next is Crazy Eights. Well, Oh, uh, I guess it just didn't do well then. Now we have a Corvette C8. And it just barely makes it all the way through. Something that could be said for more models out there, but anyways, here we have a DeLorean DMC-12. <laughs> Another one happened to go upside down. Brilliant. But, you know, sometimes that happens. It's what we just got to expect. Here we have Bulletproof. Which is a personal favorite of mine. I mean, this guy could just ace whatever it hits. Well, like I said, just aces whatever competition there is. Here we have Nightburner, which has also been known as Mega Thrust, or by a few different names. Well, that was a good run there. So now we have the Porsche Cayman S. Pretty skinny, but... Ooh. Hey, you know what? You got hung up at the very, very edge right here, but... We'll probably count that as a win, just cause. Next is a Plymouth Barracuda Formula S. Which I'm sure some people might be familiar with. You got lucky there. <laughs> okay. Gruppo X24. Of course, it has a removable splitter, which, of course, can be done by simply actuating up and down like so. You can have it removed from its current position to a higher or lower position if you so desire. Oh, man. Well, okay, I guess double loops just don't work too well for it. But now this is where we move on to the last model for today's competition, basically. The Cadillac CN. Yeah. So, across the board, we basically have... Three, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen total racers here. And the other three are basically just sitting over there. Well, whatever, so. I hope you enjoyed this piece, and more importantly, I do hope that you enjoy what I've had to offer so far for HWH. I will have a lot more things to come, though, in the future, so if you would like to see more, then please drop a like and subscribe. But also, comment down below on what else you feel could be done to make HWH even more crazy. Then also, follow me wherever you can find me, and stay on the Hollywood side for more content.